All right, so I got some fun new doodads working on here from I believe it's Valentini uh, Italian company. So they have a Brembo conversion kit. So I got the Brembo master cylinder up here right now. It's a 10 mil master. So it's a little bit stiffer one to pull, but better response and feeling. And so here's their slave cylinder kit. And on the stock YZ, so I have the flywheel weight pulled off right now. Oh, nice, the bolt's stuck in there. So I got the GYTR flywheel weight pulled off. Here's the aftermarket um, stator from Steely. Um, this one has a more wattage output. Uh, so anyways, yeah, here is this actuator arm piece. I don't know, the stock one is drastically different. So the cable comes down in here and there's like a pulley lever type system that basically lifts this arm and engages the push rod for the clutch. So now with this setup, um, there is a extended piece that's gonna make the ignition cover wider, but the slave mounts up onto this piece directly these all bolt in, and obviously I don't know the gasket, I'm trying to mock this up. So it's a direct line of contact now on that piece. Got terrible lighting here. So there should be less loss in the system and less discrepancy, like it should be more direct fuel. I ran into hydraulics, they don't really have that fuel. The Magura aftermarket setup still uses that actuator arm and I think there's definitely some loss there. So with this direct system, I think this might be the hot ticket. So just trying to figure out how to mount it in here now. All right, so uh, obviously this is, you know, semi aftermarket <laughs> piece here, but so here's the original actuator arm I was talking about that goes in. Might get a little bigger to get you go. So the cable hooks on there this piece is in here, it rotates like this, moves the clutch rod in there. I don't know, a bunch of stuff happens. So this one, same idea, but the Brembo slave attaches directly to this. There's should be some loss and discrepancy and some pulley arms there, leverages. But anyways, the problem is there's like a set screw that goes in here and sits on this. And it's just like the machining is ever so slightly off so this piece is getting bound up on the case. So, you know, I'm taking my good old trusty file and uh, just taking ever so slightly off to get this to fit. So hopefully it still works. Okay, so I got it figured out. There was just a little bit of a hiccup in the machining. So I got it down to the point where it's free now and it's super close. Might have to send them, have them send me another part, but I'll actually be able to test this and get it working. Okay, now there's this extended piece to basically push out the, um, give it some space in there and mount the slave cylinder. So I'm gonna put that stuff back on. Remember pieces not working again. I right, got those other bolts. All right, a um, little bit of depressing news here. So mounted up, I have not pulled the lever yet, but it looks pretty sick. These studs come out, you put the normal cover over the top and you use nuts instead of bolts. Um, but here is the GYTR flywheel weight. And uh, yes, a little bit of depressing news here to find. Um, and then I was like, okay, I know Steely had comes with a bolt-on one. Steely sent me some products that goes on the stock um, flywheel. And this is even worse. So um, do I even want to try the bike? Do I even want to try it? Yes.
Yes. Yes. Yeah. We're still going to at least try it. So I'm going to get the stock flywheel, but Riley is going to record me pulling the clutch for the first time. The one films is back, by the way. Okay. Oh, it's on my mic, so it's not going to hear you. Oh, okay. Here, okay. here you go. 31 Films is back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, first pull on the Hydro. What? Bro. Dude, it feels good. There's not even a clutch there. <laughs> I felt it beforehand. That's not yeah. even a clutch. It feels good. This is a 10? That's a 10. That feels like an 8. Uh, I'm gonna get the stock flywheel. I have to try it like that. It's that is so good. Arm pump? Never heard of her. Never heard of her. Okay. Well, um, I need to put the stiffer clutch springs back in the bike. I can't ride it that soft. It's too soft. Uh, I'll be back. I gotta get the stock. All right, we're going into the race shop. Uh, here's two 250Fs, bunch of bicycles, pivots, my Triumph. I mean, I'm just like Johnny Walker. Okay. You wish you were that cool. Levers, flywheels, stock flywheel. Um, I think I took an hour out of this box. Mission cover. Got it, stock flywheel. I mean, that G by Tower one is not even going to fit in that box. Okay. Uh, yeah. Good stuff in here. We got a Teddy's race shop in the corner too. <laughs> yeah. Mic check. Still, still working. Okay. It's all dirty. All right. So, Hydro's on. This thing is ridiculous it uh it's pretty easy to pull but i've fallen on this handguard let me bend this out ah. there we go still free play there um yeah it's we'll see but like i said i don't have the gytr cover on you and I lost five horsepower and I do not have a flywheel weight anymore. So this is stock flywheel weight, but I already put all the effort to buy this thing. It wasn't cheap. So we're, we're trying it. Okay, now at Applied Shop because the GYTR flywheel weight, I think I shared this the other day, just doesn't quite fit. So. Tyler has a lathe, so I figured we can cut some material off the GYTR weight and get this to fit. Because right now, when I tested it, it was just straight stock X flywheel. Um, it wasn't bad at all, by any means, because the clutch, the hydro clutch was so good. But no matter what, I still need to get this thing figured out. So I can get some sort of flow weight on there because I know it'll be good for the East Coast. Okay, we're getting serious. We got calipers now. <laughs> when the calipers come out, you know it's serious. Is this a stone block so we know this is true to the world? Yeah. Okay, look at that. See, the factory here. It's on a wheel toolbox though, so it's like, you know. <laughs> yeah. So we should, because it sticks out, it comes off higher than the stock. So here's the difference. Stock X. GYTR, so we should be able to trim off a bunch of this skirt. Call that a skirt edge? I'd call that a skirt, right? Something like that, yeah. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, so. Yeah, so there's like a little pocket in here. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. Yeah. But there's a little pocket in there, so the depth from the stone to the bottom of where the weight is stock is the same depth as With that this so if i put this flat there. edge on here and go into the pocket it's right at the bottom of the caliper yeah so i think we'll just have to cut that pocket off and then the good news is i think most of your weights out here it's gonna have a plenty of weight it's gonna take it. a little bit off but yeah my favorite thing was i was talking to like valentini the guy that makes this thing and he's like yeah just take the stock one and add weight 
I'm like, that sounds hard to balance. Yeah, it is hard to and then keep he, it on there. I'm like, and it's not going to be the same, just because you add the same weight, for those people who don't know common physics, <laughs> uh, it really matters where the weight is sitting on yeah. your radius. Yeah. Think about it. You know, you throw a ball with a huge arm, it takes more effort. So... Yeah, and if you had it, uh, if you had it like all the weight on like yeah. to one side, the thing would vibrate like crazy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> your crank bearings just, just get destroyed. Yeah. So once I figure this out, uh, I'm gonna Tyler's gonna sell these kits for you guys. Yeah. I mean, we'll he, he isn't, but we're gonna make him do it. <laughs> figure we should do a comparison. We're in grams. The euros would appreciate that. Oh no, not to the American standard. Yeah, gotta go ounces. Oh, gross. One pound, 12.1 ounces. And here's stock. 1.43. So that's eight different, more or less. Okay, that's documented now. One pound, 12 ounce, 21. You writing that down so we yeah, know after or before and after. <laughs> Science experiment. This is way better than school. <laughs> the stock uh, flywheel was kind of heavy, anyways. Like it was fine for being in the chunk, but if you wanted like a quick reaction, yeah, it was, it was super little... delayed. Baggy. So we got this cut about perfect. So in Tyler's hand, it's GYTR. So obviously there's still a lot more weight there. We cut off basically the skirt around the edge. But you can see the weight they add. Yeah, this, this is, is the stock, stock part, and then there's the weight. So, yeah, perfect cut. Let's see what it weighs. So we took almost three ounces off of it. Three ounces off. So it'd be a four ounce flywheel weight now, I guess. Yeah. If it was seven before. So it took about almost half off. Yeah. It was aggressive anyways. It was a lot. No, it was unaggressive. It's a give and take, right? Yeah. Hydraulic clutch and a flywheel weight or... Hydraulic clutch a lot of half a flywheel weight. Yeah, a lot, yeah, <laughs> a lot of flywheel weight and no hydraulic clutch. Like I said, we're just getting this dialed in for everyone. <laughs> 